everybody, thanks for stopping in. I've been hiking around the hills all morning and I managed to bag a few quail. No, not really. It's been years since I've hunted, but I did buy some quail at the Sprouts Market the other day and I thought I'd try grilling them. So uh, let's go inside and get started. So these are the quail that I bought. You get four quail for $8.99, so about $2.25 per bird. Now it doesn't say what variety of quail these are. They're from Reno, Nevada. The quail I used to get when I used to hunt around here were California Valley quail. So um, let me get those out of the package and see what they look like. I got these opened up and I'm trying to figure out why they're so flat looking. I mean, okay, open them up like that, but those are some tiny quail. The breasts are really tiny on them. The quail I used to get around here were a lot bigger than that. Oh well, we'll get them rinsed off. Since I have never grilled quail before, I'm gonna keep things pretty simple. I think two of them I'm just gonna cook plain. Maybe just put some olive oil and kosher salt on the outside of them. And I'm gonna mix up a marinade for the other two. So I've just cut up some garlic and onions there. I'm adding in some olive oil. And I'm going to add in some red wine vinegar. And just kind of mix this up. And um, I'll let two quail marinate in that for a little while. And um, we'll see uh, which ones turn out the best. I might have to uh, add a little bit more marinade to that, but we'll be back in a little bit. My wife has never had quail before and she's not sure if she'll like it, so I'm gonna cook her a porterhouse steak. And since I was making marinade anyway, I'm gonna put it in the same marinade, garlic, onions, oil, and vinegar. So let me get this mixed up and I'll meet you guys outside at the Weber grill in a bit. Okay, time to start cooking. I just built a little fire on the back side of the grill. These quail are so small. These are the marinated ones right here. I let those marinate for an hour and a half and my wife's steak marinated for an hour and a half as well. And these are the plain ones. I put uh, salt and pepper on the plain ones olive oil, salt, and pepper. I didn't put any pepper on those just so I could kind of keep track of which is which. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on these. I'm not even gonna put the lid on yet. These have only been on here a few minutes and they're so small, I haven't even put the lid on the grill. I'm just kind of, I just kind of keep moving them around because I don't want to overcook them. So I think that's the way I'm gonna cook them, just keep turning them until they look done, which shouldn't take too long. I have to say, these are kind of funny looking when they're cooking. <laughs> they start to look pretty good. I just keep moving them around so they don't get overcooked because they're so small. I just pulled the quail off. They only took about 15 minutes. Now I'll get my wife's steak on there. And anybody that's seen me cook a steak for my wife knows there's two rules. No pepper and make it ultra rare. <laughs> okay, the steak's been on that side for a couple minutes. Give it a quick flip here. If I can get it unstuck from the grill. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, time to get that baby off of there. I'm a little frustrated here because after all that work, I had a few shots of the, all the quail on the plate and I accidentally deleted them. So I just have this one quail and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. All right, I already, I already cut the little wing off of this side over here. Now, let me show you what the meat looks like on the inside here. As you can see, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dark colored meat and it's a little bit gamey tasting. The um, unmarinated, quail was more gamey tasting than the marinated quail. But that's how it looks on the inside. 
Okay, so here's the final rundown. The quail turned out really good, both uh, kinds. Um, however, the, the marinated kind had more flavor and it tasted less gamey, so I like that one the best. But that marinade on the steak was not very good. My wife tasted it and she said it's too vinegary, so I tried it and I agree, it was too vinegary on steak. She said the steak was cooked perfectly, but just too much vinegar taste, so I agree. So uh, the quail turned out great, the steak not so much. Thanks for watching you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.